Hello everyone, Chocolate Birds here for another video review. It's a very special one. It's the Terry's Chocolate Orange Exploding Candy. Yes. <laughs> very excited for this one. Very excited. Yeah, so I think this was around... It was out a few years back, basically, but they've just brought it back this year. So very excited about this one. I think, um, well, at least it was out last year or years, but I've, I've missed it anyway. I think it's been quite a long time since I've seen it anyway. Um, first time since I've had this channel going, I think. So it could have been around, but I'd say I didn't notice it. Um, yeah, Terry's Chocolate Orange... Made with Terry's chocolate orange, real orange oil as well. Yes. A bit quite yellow that top actually, it's not just my camera, but yeah, interesting. But yeah, obviously this one's got exploding candy in it as well. So it says uh, the original ball with fizz, crackle, and bang. Yes, there we go. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So you can clearly see what uh, you probably don't know what well, if you don't know what Terry's chocolate orange is, you can clearly see what it is. I think it's <laughs> basically lots of uh, orange segments um sort of in um in an orange shape. It's actually make up the orange itself. So yeah, very nice. Now it used to be um a sort of solid segment so you see there's like a lip on them here and that lip didn't used to be there used to be very flat on the sides and then uh, re removing that um sort of flatness and making them each having a lip has actually taken away from the weightage so it used to be uh, 174 grams um but now it's only 147 grams so yeah so it's uh you know a cheeky way of making it smaller there um but they've never gone back with that yeah so Still quite substantial, there's quite a lot there, but even so, not the point really, is it? I think, I'm, I'm sure they used to sell them in France still, and they would still the 174 um, gram balls, but um, I could be wrong on that, but I don't know. I feel like they continue to do it in France for a bit. Um, it was owned by a French company now, I think it's Karen Bear, I think it's called. Um, you can see it on their Terry's at least, yeah. Let's see. Just on the side, Terry's chocolate. Let's say it. I don't say it there, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. All right, but well, they were. I don't think. You know, I'm assuming they still are, but I can't see anything that says otherwise. But uh, there we go. All right. Who's vegetarians? Um, product isn't recyclable. So 100 grams, 516 calories, 27 grams of fat, 16 of which are saturated. So that's on the lower end of the 500 to 550 scale that uh, chocolate products tend to have. Chocolate bar type products. Per four segments, 29.4 grams. 152 calories, 7.9 grams of fat, 4.8 of which are saturates. There we go. Five times four segments per ball. So it's 20 segments, it should be. It's got some milk chocolate flavoured real orange oil and popping candy pieces. With popping candy pieces. <laughs> 6%. Ingredients. Um, it's got palm fat in there. See that, palm fat. Orange oil. They contain nuts and wheat. Milk solids 14% minimum, cocoa solids 25% minimum. Contains vegetable fats in addition to cocoa butter. There we go. All right, yeah, interesting. Okay, well, I think we uh, should give this an open, really. So what you have to do when you open it is um, you meant to sort of tap it on top to spread apart the uh, the segments, to split them up, basically. So I might grab a rolling pin and do that. So yeah. <laughs> okay, let's give it an open then. Let's do it. Let's give it an open. Right, okay, let's get this Terry's Chocolate Orange Exploding Candy Edition. Uh, yeah, an open. I think it's probably, I think it's a limited edition. It doesn't say it, but I don't think it'll be around forever. So, hmm, interesting one. Not been around for, um, well, it wasn't here... It's been a few years since it was out last time, at least since I saw it anyway, so yeah. Never seen it while I've been doing this channel anyway. Right, so let's give it an open then. So if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I've done about um, 840 reviews now, believe it or not. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, I'll put a link to a place to all my reviews in the top right hand corner. So if I can open this. <laughs> yeah, so after you watch this one, uh, check those out. Um, hope you enjoyed those too, and I'll probably put a link to a playlist of uh, other Terry's products as well. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Yes, it comes with like a sort of clamshell here, there. so it doesn't have to tell you to, to, you know, to tap it anymore. I'm sure I used to give it a whack and stuff like this, but um, yeah. So hmm. there we go. So you can see it's quite, you know, the packaging there. It's quite small, I guess you'd say, compared to the original packaging. Um, just close it again, so I can see. Uh, yeah, quite small. But um, probably not excessively so, but you know, yeah, definitely not uh, as big as a packet you can see there, really. So, yeah, big as a box. Um, it's a bit disappointing, but there we go. Hmm. All right. Okay. Well, so, yeah, so basically, what would happen is you normally would open this, and uh, um, yeah, you know, it would be quite solid, basically, but you've got to sort of tap it at this point on the top, and it will spread, and it will sort of separate the segments out. So, you can kind of see. Roughly what it'd be like in some bit of seg the, the wrapper seems to sort of segment itself there, but I don't know if that's yeah. 
that's just where they've crimped it or whatever. So I do have my trusty rolling pin here, look at this. Oh yes. <laughs> so basically the gist of it is we meant to just, you don't have to whack it too hard. Just give it a bit of a soft tap on top and it, we should separate it. So you don't want to do it too, too hard. And of course if I do do it too, too hard, <laughs> we knock all the camera equipment over and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so that's, you know, see. Maybe that's enough, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try again just for a look. There we go. All right, we'll see. Maybe you should do it on this side. We'll do it on the bottom as well. There we go. All right. I should have. Uh, I should have done it. So <laughs> if it hasn't, <laughs> we'll see. So this is made of real orange oil as well. So as I say, it wouldn't be separated, or at least unless it changed things. If you peel the label off. It sort of come off quite well. Well, look at that. It's not separated at all. <laughs> oh no, there we go. So, yeah. Okay. So it's a bit. Um, well, that that didn't work. <laughs> Let's just try it again like this, let's just see. Okay, there we go. So you can see that it did split them apart there. Um, let's just go another. It's just sort of bashing it down a bit, really. <laughs> you can see what's meant to happen. That's meant to happen there, like that. Um, that's what usually does happen, but it's not in this case. But you can just go around now and separate it like that. So there we go. So, yeah, all right. So we got away with it, sort of. Didn't really quite work very well there, but there we go. So we got the nice... Uh, Orange there, like that. And again, if we. I wish I was just taking it out and showing you really before I did that, but there we go. Um, yeah. There we go. <laughs> nice little orange segment. You do get like a pillar of chocolate in the middle. So the pillar in this case could have been quite thick. Maybe that's why it wasn't separating. I don't know. It's quite thick actually. So you can see there. Yeah, that might have been why. This thick pillar of chocolate. I love that part. Some people find it a bit weird, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think it's nice. It's like why you're having a real orange, isn't it, really? Um, it's called a pith or something, that bit, I'm not sure. You see the quite big segments here, but you can clearly see the lip on them as well. Yeah, so there we go. Mm. So what do we say? It should be 20 segments, did it say? Um, have a look. Yeah, four segments is five times four segments per per ball. Yes, it should be 20 segments, I believe. So let's have a look. I guess it's, you know, we shouldn't really be missing one, should we really? I don't think. But <laughs> the 510, so obviously it wouldn't make a sphere otherwise, and it still would be the same area. Yeah, so there's about five there. And some little bits have come off. Got some crumbly bits as well. There we are. Yeah. So quite nice, nice packaging. But, um, yeah, there we go. Looks quite interesting. Hmm. You can see lots of uh, yeah, little knobbly bits in it as well. So presumably that's the exploding candy. It's just solid chocolate though, really. It's a, a relatively yeah, quite a, you know, mild smell of orange coming from. You can't smell it too strongly actually. I'm sure normally you could do. Um but I don't know, I've sort of got used to it, but I can't it never really struck me a big orange smell. I'm sure I used to be able to smell an orangey smell. Let's give these a, a bit of a measure then. So yes, let me grab. I've squashed some of them <laughs> when I was tapping them. Um, all right, it's a little rough, roughly the same size. About five point seven centimeters high. Width at one side. About a centimeter. Um, obviously, about about two millimeters. Just about, not quite at the edge there. Yeah, about one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah. So say, got a nice design. It's only on one side though. Um, the design. It's a bit of a shame. But there we go. And let's say that lip didn't used to be there because it's quite a prominent lip as well. I can you imagine, you know, how much more chocolate you get per per segment if that lip wasn't there. That's so that's how it used to be. Yeah, alright, well, looks very nice. I think it's a nice gimmick, as I say. Didn't uh, break very easily, but um, there we go. <laughs> I quite like the look of that, look at that. Mm. It's a bit flaky, doesn't it, really? The cabbage plate. But yeah, alright, well, let's give this a taste then. Let's uh, release that popping candy. <laughs> let's give it a taste. Okay, I've once give this uh, Terry's Chocolate Orange Exploding Candy Edition <laughs> a taste. Yeah, so obviously I've opened it and it's all uh, got all the segments down here ready. So, um, yeah, mm, interesting one. Let's grab um, a bit of a good size segment here. So. I see it's quite solid chocolate. Um, didn't really split one before. I don't think there's much point, but you can see uh, quite a good emphasis actually there. And just how thick the uh, 
old segments used to be, if you can imagine them wedge shaped rather than with that lip, you can see the lip is quite large. Um, it's a really good sort of, yeah, example of just what it would be like. But you can see the popping candy piece there as well. But yeah, you can see just how much less there is because of that, that lip being there. It's really evident from that point, isn't it? Imagine if it was just a solid wedge rather than um, just having a lip. Um, that really emphasises it, doesn't it? It really does. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it depends on how far around it you break it, of course, but you can see sort of, you know, the lip is not as prominent towards the edge of it. See the, uh, it's not quite a halfway snap there, but even so, yeah, so very disappointing that. Hmm. But yeah, all right, well, without further ado, let's give it a taste. So I'll take a whole segment. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Mm. Mm. That's a crunch to it with a popping candy. <laughs> mm. Not popping, popping yet. Mm. It's slightly. Mm. It's popping a bit. Yeah, it's popping a bit more now. Mm. Relatively good orange taste. I think it's um, yeah, not bad. Nothing it's quite as sort of solid as um. I remember it being really, I think on the regular Terry's chocolate orange, I think it's a bit, I don't know if it's just because of the popping candy or whatnot, I'm not sure, but yeah, lots of popping going on in my mouth now. Hmm, give another go. Hmm. It's a nice, um, nice orange chocolate taste. I think it's quite sweet though, because of the popping candy. Um, I feel like the regular one, isn't quite this sweet. I'm not sure though. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like there's less sort of. I feel like it just seems a bit sort of, a bit sweeter. I don't know why. Um, I haven't got the regular ones to hand, so I can't just uh, compare them. We're getting lots of pop in my mouth now. <laughs> mm, let's try a couple at once. Why not? Mm. Mm. No, this taste is quite. Um, Yeah, a bit subtler than I um, remember it being as well, you know. Mm. It's still quite, it's still there, of course, but I feel like, uh, yeah, mm. I don't know if it's the, because the popping candy, whether the recipe's changed or whatnot, I think it's just because it's the popping candy version. I think it's got a bit, a bit sweeter. Um, it definitely seems to come across as a bit less orangey than the regular one, I think. I feel like that anyway. Um, it's just purely because of the sweet taste and the popping candy taste. Sort of probably just intercepts it a bit or, de or detracts from it. Um, mm, not bad. Popping candy is quite, you know, it's there. It doesn't really do much for me. It's quite fun though, but I mean, you know. <laughs> um, mm, yeah, I feel like it's, you know, for me, it doesn't really add too much to it really. I think I'd rather just have it without it and just not have that sort of sweeter taste, I think. Um, mm, it's all right though. I'd say relatively strong orange taste, but I feel like it's not as strong as it could be. Um, hmm. I think it's quite soft as well. Hmm. I don't know, I just feel like the, um, I feel like from memory that the regular toast chocolate orange is a bit sort of, got a bit more orangeness to it. Um, yeah. I mean, popping candies, as I say, it's not overly strong. I mean, sometimes it's more um, present than other times. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like this one is just a bit, I don't know, I feel like the chocolate's adversely affected by the popping candy, basically. Terry's chocolate orange is quite a sort of distinctly orange taste to it. Um, and, and the chocolate's quite distinct as well, you know, whereas I think it's just been lost a bit here um, with this popping candy. You know, I feel like, you know, as interesting as popping candy is, you know, on your tongue and stuff, you know, you can feel it popping around. It's For me, it's a bit, you know, hmm. It's okay, you know what I mean. <laughs> but I feel like the problem with it is, as I say, it just seems to over sweeten the chocolate. Um, I think that detracts A from the chocolate and B from the um, orange taste as well, which is what you want from a Terry's chocolate orange, really. So while it's fun, um, I feel like it's, you know, given some fun with one hand, but taking some taste with the other. <laughs> and as I say, I'm not massive, I'm not too bothered about popping candy. It's okay, I mean, you know, but I think... Um, but the novelty wears off quite quickly with it. So, yeah, it's all right, this. Um, I feel like it's probably 
as I say, good for kids and stuff like that, good for the excitement factor, good for the, you know, the, the popping candy side. But I think the taste definitely is affected by it. And I've noticed that as well with um, Terry's Orange um, um, Chocolate Orange Sensations as well, where the popping candy one just did seem to be a bit um, a bit sweeter than the others as well. And it sort of comes across here as well. It's one of my least favourite ones in the, in the Sensation ones, actually. Because all the others taste perfectly fine, you know, but uh, and as you expect, well, the popping candy one's just a bit much, you know. Mm, it's a bit too sweet. And I think that's the case here as well, just detracts from the taste a bit but you know yeah mm. so there we go so a bit of an odd one i think it's probably a three and a half out of five it's all, not quite a four i don't think um just because i say the orange chocolate taste it's just diminished somewhat i feel you know yeah so mm, an odd one that one but it's still a pleasant one it's still you know it's still a nice gimmick still a nice product but i think the um yeah i don't know if it's just not really helped um, by the popping candy, but as I say, it does have the novelty, but, you know, I think if you're buying a whole ball of Terry's Chocolate Orange, I think you really want the full Monty, really, and I don't think you want it to be really, I don't know, to be mm, not quite the Chocolate Orange that you wanted, you know, and I think that's the case with this one, even though I say the popping candy's there and things, I think it just detracts from the product as a whole, um, but it does give you a bit of a wow thing, you know, a sort of semi-wow factor and a bit of an interest and good fun, so there is that, but at the end of the day, give me orange chocolate. Terry's orange chocolate. <laughs> okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out the YouTube over program. It's a great way to support the channel. It really is. Um, link for that's in the description. Uh, as is the link for the Discord server, which is a great way to keep in touch with myself and the community. Um, as I say, leave a comment or free. Um, like the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, have a great day. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See ya. Bye. <laughs>